welcome back to the uh, third session of the course uh, in the previous session we uh, discussed that in a language we need to learn uh, letters words and sentences and then we saw uh, letters today we will start with words in um, this scheme of uh, uh, english learning and teaching we club words in a particular manner so we club words in families so our first word family is this okay um i will ask uh, uh, some of the um, students present in the audience to read these uh, words for the rest of them uh, kartik can you read the first line of these words m n Go on. S, at, act, add, and, and. 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 Akshat, can you read out the next next line? Act, ash, bad, bat, cap, can, cat, dam. Okay. Uh, next, Shashank, can you read the third line? Yes. Fan, fat, gas, had, has, had, jam, lad. Okay. Mohita, next line. Lap, man, mad, map, mat, nap, nag. Um, Kartik, next line. Pen. Pen, pack, ram, ran, rat, sad, sat. Next line. Tap, tan, tap, swan, wax, back, bam. Good. Akshat, next. Plug, plug, clap, dash, dam. Hand. Next. Black fact packed that run slash. Black catch crack flash ground track trash. Yes. What was that last word on the in that line? Sl- After flash. Flash. Grand. Grand. Okay. Next. Grand track trash brand clash crash. Okay. Mohita next. Hatch latch match clank slap. stack snatch splash strand scratch beautiful uh, so uh, children what do you uh, see common among these words the word a and pronunciation the pronunciation all the words in all these words a is pronounced in a particular manner okay so that is the reason why all of these words we have put together in one word family cat okay which captures the sound okay. um all these words are um, familiar to you yes. yes yes roughly for most of them you know the meanings yes good and even if you do not know the meanings of some of them when you when those words come you can pronounce it correctly okay and when you need the meaning you can look up if uh, some of the words um uh, look familiar look uh, known but you do not remember the meanings and if you want to know you can quickly ask the meanings of some of the words after which we go to the next word family no okay we go to the next word family and then later if some word meanings you need you can look up our next word family is this kartik can you read from the top ak at ask bar kar par ja par tar yak arch bark kaf kam good as you note he read kaf kam in english some of the letters sometimes are silent they are not pronounced that l in kaf and kam are not pronounced they are silent next akshat called cart dark farm fast hard okay ham mark mars mask pump part okay past word blast word word blast jam flask 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 shark next smart spark stark starch okay so you notice that in these words also a comes but with a different sound and that is why they are put together in a different word family car okay mohita next here all ball call fall hall chalk small okay 
stall, talk, tall, wall, walk, want. Okay. Here again, in talk, the L is silent. Okay, Akshat? What, war, warm, want. Okay. So, all, in all these words, you pronounce A as O. Okay? And as you notice, this M is capital, Mars. Okay? What is the meaning of uh, the word Mars? It is a proper noun. It is a proper noun. It is the name of a planet. Okay? Good. Next, we have two word fam families again together. Okay, Mohita, from the top. Bed, beg, bet. Den, fed, get, hen. Next. Jet, let, led, men, met, net, pen, pet. Okay. Shashank. Red, set, ten, when, uh -uh. vex, yes. well, web. web, wet, end, bend, bell, best, fell, hell, melt, mend, next. Okay. Next. Lent, lest, pest. Rest, sell, ten. Tent, test, text, went, west, well, blend. Yes, Karthik. Crest, flash, bless, uh -huh. flesh. What is Pen. this? What is this? Flesh. Flesh. Okay, continue. Bless, men, ten, small, uh -huh. is small. Yes. Clench, stench, stress, trench, stretch. Good. In all these words, you must have noticed the word uh, the letter e and its sound which we, which is different from the sound which we will see in the next words yes shashank her per fur herb herd jerk perk surf verb clerk perch stern right we have seen the sound patterns of a and e right three sound patterns of a and two sound patterns of e what is the next vowel? I. I. Let us see its sound pattern. Uh, Mohita. If, in, is, it, inch, ink, bid, big, bin. Continue. Bit, did, dig, dim, din, dip, fit, fix. Chajan. Head, him, hit, lid, lip, mix, nib, pig. Continue. Pin. pin Pit, rib, rid, rig, rim, sin, sit, six. Yes. In English, when you uh, pronounce R, uh, uh, make note that its pronunciation is light, not rig, rim. Okay. It is rid, rig. And particularly, if it comes towards the end, it is kept very light. Car, far, bar, not car, bar, car. Okay. So, English sounds are typically light. Okay. Next. Tin, win, wit, bill, dish, fish, fill, hill, list, mill, miss, pick, spill, quit, rich, rich, sick, till. Okay. Next. Till, bill, wish. What is this first word? Till. Tilt. Tilt. Yes. Tilt, bill, wish, with, bring, clip. Dish. Ditch. Ditch. Print, quilt, stiff, still, sting, trick, wrist. Okay, next, Akshat. Glitch, flinch, flint. flint, script, spring, strict, string. Okay. In all of these, you have noted the sound of I, which is E. Small sound E. Okay. Some other sounds of I are also possible. Yes, Mohita. This X means exception. Okay, exceptional sound. The exceptional sound of I? Fair. Mm -mm. Fur. Fur. Sir, bird, firm, first, shirt, thirst. Okay. Another exceptional sound, Shashank? Bind, high, hind, kind, mind, wild, blind, child, grind, light, fight, flight. Slight. Good. So, for I, the major sound pattern is this, E. The minor sound patterns are A and I. Okay. 
So, that means in a word which you see first time somewhere, the word the sound of i will fit typically in one of these, right. Next, I have a O. O. Box. Yes, cut it. Off, on, or, ox, odd, off, box, cot, dog, dog. Wait, just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. In this um, case, in the in this line, the first word was O F, and this word was O double F. What is the difference in the uh, sound of these? In this O double F, you pronounce F precisely as F off, and in this one, you pronounce it light and almost like V of. Okay, of O V. See as if it is O V. Okay, now continue from here. Fog. Yes. Fox. God. Got. Hop. Hot. Uh, yes, Shashank. Next. Jog, jot, log, lot, mop, nod, nor, not, pot. Continue. Rod, rot, sob, top, bomb, bond, fond. Okay. Mohita, next. Long, lost, moss, toss, scot, shop, shot. Continue. Sort, spot, stop, block, clock, flock. Uh, yes, cut it. This one, frog. Frog, frost. Cross, shock, stop, touch, thorn, strong, song, do, two. And you know why these two are these two words in a are in a box, because their sound pattern is not according to the normal rule. Okay, we will come back to this sound again later. And now, let us go to another exceptional sound, which is more common. Uh, Akshat. Go, so bold, cold. Fold, fort, gold, hold, port, post, sold, told, scold, sport. Beautiful. Shashank, the sun, last one. Sun, worn, word, month, world. Okay. So, one sound pattern here, which is a major sound pattern of O, which is like box, and two minor sound patterns, bold and word. Okay. And one peculiar, very rare sound pattern which is in box here that is do two okay we continue with the remaining vowel you you that's right yes and mohita up us bug bud but cub cup cut dug continue fun gun hug hum gum hut jug mug yes none nut Pub, rub, sun, run, sun, ba, bum, bump, club, cut, duck, drum, drug, dull, dust, fund. Okay, next. Girl, hum, hunt, jump, just, luck, lust, must, null, plum, pump, rush, rust, shut, search. Next, cut it. Must, uh -uh. Tr null, plum, pump, rush, rust, shut, such, suck, sunk, sunk, bust, done, brush, bunch. Just a minute. Yes, next, Akshat. Burnt, burst, chuck, crush, thrust, flush. Next, Shashank. Punch, plug, plump, punch, drunk, sh 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 shunt. shunt. Okay. This word is new? Yes. Shunt? Okay. In electric circuit, you have something called a shunt. Okay. Mohita? Stuck, thumb, truck, trust, struck, strung. Continue? Clutch, crunch, thrust. Okay. Akshat, last. Put, bull, bush, full, pull, push. So, this is a different sound. Okay. That is why that has been put in as exception. So, for you, this is the major sound pattern and this is the minor sound pattern. Okay? And um, uh, you see, um, these are word families which uh, we have put together according to different 
um, sound patterns of the um, vowels in the words. We will come back to these word families uh, later and right now we have one more uh, issue in our agenda for this particular session and that is the counterpart of the technique that we studied in the previous session. In that um, uh, technique in which we, which we called interpretation, our idea was to take an English text and make out its meaning. And in the process of making out its meaning, in order to make out its meaning correctly and be confident that we have done so, we broke the sentence in different parts and then completely translated all the parts into Hindi and then in Hindi we constructed the sentence and then ensured that we have understood the uh, sentence completely. And their assumption was that Hindi which is our CLL lo common local language is something in which all of us are um, proficient to a very high degree compared to English which we are learning. In this other technique which we do today, the process is exactly reverse. The idea is that we have something in mind which we want to say and we want to express something and for that we will construct the correct English sentence so as to express our idea in English. But in practice, we will not um, right now take the job of uh, putting down our idea, but put down an idea which is already written, already available in CLL, already available in Hindi and that means all of us know what it is that we are trying to express. So that when it is expressed in English, all of us know that it has been expressed correctly and the purpose was successfully executed. So this passage, this technique we call as expression or in nickname we call it CLL to ENG. That means common local language to English. The way interpretation we call as ENG to CLL that means English to common local language. So in for the expression session we have this passage for uh, doing it in class today which is actually the continuation passage of the one which we used for interpretation session. And in order to remind you that it is continuation session continuation uh, passage the first uh, sentence is uh, repeated. This is the sentence with which we uh, completed the exercise in the um, uh, last session that is uh, then slowly the daughter of Bonk Anath Pindad got up with tears. And today we will continue that same story and this time we have the Hindi version with us and we will convert it into English step by step. Next sentence is Buddha ke charan chukar meethe dhime swarme usne kaha. And if we break it, then we get Buddha ke charan, Buddha's feet, chukar, touching, meethe dhime swarme in a sweet low voice, usne kaha, she said. And now we Re, uh, number them according to the English syntax rule and how we will make that we will say first here then here and so on. So for touching it is 1 then 2 here 3 here and 4 here and as we assemble it in that order we will get the English uh, sentence and then we will make the appropriate capitalization that T will become capital because it is the first letter of the sentence. Touching Buddha's feet, she said in a sweet low voice. Okay? And this comma here signifies that the sentence uh, is not really complete because the speech will come now, the direct speech will come now and so that is why it is comma here. Okay? Next, yeh bhikharin supriya aapka adesh leti hai. Yavikarin Supriya, that is her name, Supriya is her name, is one, Apkadesh, two, Leti hai, three. As we 
convert each of them into English, yeh bhikarin supriya becomes this beggar made supriya, aapka adesh becomes your order, leti hai becomes takes. And then we number these parts and compose in that sequence and get this beggar made supriya takes your order. Fine. Next, rote huye bhukhe log sab mere bacche hain. रोते हुए भूखे लोग सब मेरे बच्चे हैं ओके सो यू सी दिस इज अ वर्ब एंड दिस इज द सब्जेक्ट एंड दिस इज द रेस्ट ऑफ द प्रेडिकेट अदर देन द वर्ब रोते हुए भूखे लोग क्राइंग हंगरी पीपल सब मेरे बच्चे ऑल माय चिल्ड्रन हैं आर ओके इन इंग्लिश रूल्स Now you number these parts and assemble. Crying hungry people are all my children. Next, Nagar ko anaj baatne ka kaam mai le rahi hu. You, you remember the story in which the story started with a problem. Who will distribute grains to the hungry? Okay. <coughs> so we break it into pieces. Nagar ko anaj baatne ka kaam mai. ले रही हूं किसको होम नगर को क्या वट अनाज बांटने का काम हु मैं हु कौन मैं काम क्या है वट इज एक्शन ले रही हूं ओके सो इन दैट सेंस ऑफ द मीनिंग वी ब्रेक इट ओके इन द लास्ट सेशन वी वर डिस्कसिंग वट इज द सेंस इन विच वी ब्रेक इट सो आज के क्वेश्चन गेट द आंसर So according to the answer, break it. For every little question, the answer that you get in this sentence, that is one piece, okay, one part. Who, doing what? Uh, what is action? That is, uh, uh, who? What is action? I am taking. I am taking what? The task of distributing grains, whom, to the city, right? How to do it? What is the first piece? Lekin. 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 Tum. To bus. We will have a little trouble with this guy. Okay. To bus. Ek bhikshu ki beti, or khud bhikshu ni ho. Okay. In parts, translate it. Lekin. But. But. Tum. You. You. To bus. Only. ओनली और जस्ट एक भिक्षु की बेटी डॉटर ऑफ अमोंग द डॉटर ऑफ अमोंग और एंड खुद भिक्षुनी नन व्हेन शी टॉक्स अबाउट हर सेल्फ शी टॉक्स अबाउट बिगर मेड बट अदर्स इंक्लूडिंग अस अदर्स इंक्लूडिंग वी आर नॉट सपोज टू कॉल हर दैट that is uh, not respectable so we say the right word which is none okay ho r now how do we number let us number them but you just the daughter of a monk and a nun yourself are but you are so you will, we number that like, like that but you are you are what the daughter of a monk and a nun yourself and we don't we have not yet put this word just anywhere so let it stay outside for the time being like this and then we think how to settle this word just one way to put it here and then you say but you are just the daughter of a monk and a nun yourself or we say but you are only the daughter of a monk and a nun yourself or we say but you are the daughter of a monk only and a nun yourself but perhaps the best and stylish way to do that is not to keep this word just at all but put this word but here you are but the daughter of a monk and a nun yourself and in this last round you must have noticed 
that I have got rid of this word and and rather put a comma here. So this has come to come out to be a stylish translation, okay, more dramatic. But that is not necessary. A dramatic translation is not necessary for a translation and for your interpretation. Other versions will be as good as this, so far as understanding is concerned or the job of translation is concerned. If I assemble it like that, will the sentence be correct? Not really. We have to do something more. According to English rules of question, it will be not with what people, with what pride you accept such a dif difficult responsibility, but it will be with what pride do you accept such a difficult responsibility, right? Because that is the rule of constructing a question. So, this way you will find that as you break it into parts and convert each part into English, then you see different parts, you see a number of pieces which you now have to assemble. And if you have some familiarity with the language in which you are trying to assemble, then the order in which you have to assemble should not be very difficult to find out. Okay? So, at this point, we stop and um, find out if you have any questions. Yes. Why we need word families? Why do we need? Word families. Why do we need word families? Why do you accept such a difficult task? Okay. So, why do we need word families? Uh, word families we do not need as such. Word families we are using uh, as a convenience to teach uh, you a lot of words together in one big group. So, that in every word family where you know some of the words, some of the words are familiar and some of the words you do not know, some of the words are new. But then when you see that in one group when you see so many words in which you know majority of the words and there are some words which you do not know. But just the fact that we have put together these words in one single family tells you that whatever is the sound of I in the words you know, it will be the same sound in the other words which are new to you. Okay. So, for example, uh, suppose for somebody this word is new. Okay. What are her, uh, what are her options? How to, uh, how she would um, say this word? So, having this in this word family, she knows that since it is clubbed with tin, miss, print, etcetera. So, this should be glitch and not glitch. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, this is our technique of putting unknown things in the group of known things, so that some character about the unknown is obviously known to the newcomer. Okay. Apart from that, the major purpose of putting words in a family according to the vowel sound is to ensure that uh, students of the class learn so many words together and get the pattern of the sound. So, that wherever in a new word he gets the uh, gets some uh, particular vowel, he knows the typical sounds by which it has to be pronounced. So, that means even if he no, does not know the meaning of the word, he at least can read it smoothly. Okay. And when he wants a meaning, he can consult the dictionary. But even before knowing the meaning, you have an idea of the pronunciation. So, that is the purpose of having words clubbed together in word families. Okay. Anything else? Why we have to learn so many words? So many. Uh, these are so many or so few? This is also a question because as we know, uh, there are too many words in the language which is a good thing, which means that the language is rich. Okay. Uh, you do not need to, I mean every student does not need to learn this many words in one shot. Okay. It can be possible that uh, we have a shorter list of words and uh, um, we teach that in the beginning. And if I am trying to teach you this many words, not 
uh, much less that means I expect you to be able to learn so many words. In another class if the students are uh, a little weaker than you people then the teacher might decide that uh, maybe not uh, these many words but uh, a, a little smaller list and in that case the teacher will teach a subset of these words not all of these that is also possible. It is a uh, decision which rests with the teacher because the teacher knows uh, her students and she knows how many words of one kind together a student's student will be um, uh, capable of handling easily. Since I know that you can handle so many words together that is why I am trying to teach you so many words together. Okay? So, today we are not conducting the um, practice session or the tutorial session, but the um, what was in the agenda and what um, those of you who are school teachers and who want to uh, uh, run this um, in your among your students are supposed to do in this uh, tutorial, I will just outline. The continuation passage of whatever we were doing are here and the uh, task in the tutorial is to uh, get similar passages done by uh, students by this step by step process which in a frozen manner I am showing you here. And uh, make note that this kind of exercise running um, by instruction running through instruction for 5 minutes or 10 minutes and through the uh, work of the students for another 5 or 10 minutes is not enough for the children to learn. Children need a lot of practice and those among you who um, are uh, here in order to improve your English those, also, those people also need it in much uh, larger measure and that is why we have uh, this passage for um, assignment and just like the passage in the previous assignment in which uh, a passage was given to translate from English into Hindi in the interpretation exercise. Now here this passage is given for translation from Hindi into English and here also in the case of five of the long sentences I am asking you to show the step by step process of translation by breaking into parts as done in the class and in rest of the sentences also you do it like that but in your submission you do not need to show all those uh, steps in detail because th that way your work will be too large but in the case of five of the long sentences you do that and this passage is a little long okay so uh, here we um, stop in this session and uh, continue again in session 4. Thank you.